Hello YouTube, Fuzz here, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy and today we're going to be taking a brief detour from the main uh, adventure in order to tackle an optional mini-venture known as Who Watches the Watch Plane. So if you enjoy watching, don't forget to leave a like and please be subscribed to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel. Starting from Ninewood Hills then, we're going to head to the gate here and make our way over to Cornelia. And this particular mini-venture is available once you've completed Chapter 5 and have reached the Ice World, or the Icy Land, in Chapter 6. You don't have to do anything there, you just have to make your way to that place. And we've just done that through the course of our main uh, walkthrough series. And once we have, we can come back here and you can see the mini adventure dude standing right next to the safe crystal at the base of oh, Cornelia's steps. Of giants. I've heard you've been putting up a grand fight against the Bahamutian army. I hope you don't mind, but I have a favor I'd like to ask you. As I'm sure you know, the goblins that once served the Bahamutian army have gone and taken up residence in the watch plant. We would like to observe them in their natural state, but I'm afraid they're too dangerous for us to handle ourselves. Could we ask you to defeat a few of them for us? That would help us to gather the data we need. Oh, don't worry, we won't get in your way. We can observe your battles with the goblins from a distance and collect all the data we need. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Yes, we'll go ahead and accept this quest. It's not too bad, actually, this quest. But it can be a little bit grindy. We need to go and kill uh, eight goblins over in the Watch Plains. Here we are, then, at the Watch Plains once the quest has been accepted. And literally all we have to do is run around this place and defeat eight goblins. So I'm just going to move through to the next areas here. And a battle. Oh, what could this be? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't seem to find any in the first area. Uh, but from the second area onwards, they do seem to be spawning without too much issue. So just stick on the speed, battle speed up, whatever it's called, and just plough through them. Uh, because this quest isn't available until you've reached Chapter 6, your team is probably a little bit stronger than the goblins themselves by that point. So it's not a difficult quest, in all honesty. Now, one thing you are going to note is that each battle only counts as one, unfortunately. If you go to the adventure log in the menu, you can go over to the mini ventures and you can see your progress. And as you can see, we've done one out of eight after that first battle. Okay, so I should have just killed the last one by now, I believe. And... Ah, oh, I get a trophy for that nice one. So yes, we've met the objectives for it, which means we can go back to the dude, which we're probably going to have to do anyway, because it's the closest place to teleport. Uh, but we can also hand in here as well, and we get our Phoenix Downs times two as a reward. And I guess I can hand in the intervention quest we did earlier as well. We get the Princess Goblin Memento. And the High Potion, lovely. So don't forget, you can use that extra side quest that you just saw there, to farm for 45,000 experience. Uh, but I did cover a video on that. That's not the topic of today, and I didn't use it anyway. Since, in my opinion, it makes capturing some mirages early in the game a little bit trickier than it needs to be. Alright then, guys. Well, I'm going to finish off, head back to the save points, and call it a day. So I hope this video has helped you. Thanks for stopping by. If it has, don't forget to leave a like. And then pop back soon. And we'll continue on with more of World of Final Fantasy. See you then.